Alan, I would say that's a good place to start, this misconception that quantum computing is still at the theoretical stage. It's not out there in the real world. That is a point of view that you would disagree with. Uh, absolutely, Ed. First of all, thank you for the opportunity to be here today. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to be able to speak with you. So you're absolutely right. Uh, most people in the industry are saying that quantum computing is years away from commercial reality. Uh, but at D-Wave, we took a very different approach to quantum computing, one that has allowed us to deliver commercial quantum computers today. In fact, we've been delivering them for almost two years now. We have over 60 commercial customers that are leveraging our quantum computer to see improved performance in a broad array of business applications. Alan, I'm going to play devil's advocate for a minute. You've 60 commercial customers, you've been delivering computers. I look at your revenues and they are low. If quantum computing is in the real world, why are you not booking more sales as a real commercial product? Sure. So, so first of all, commercial quantum computing is still early. In other words, even we were not commercial until a little over a year ago. So we've achieved that milestone, and we are now getting started building the business. We have seen our bookings accelerate quarter over quarter for five quarters now. We have seen our average deal size grow significantly from tens of thousands of dollars to well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we are supporting applications as far ranging as employee scheduling, e-commerce delivery, customer loyalty rewards optimization, optimization of marketing campaigns, even improving the performance of shipping ports. So it is early days, but we're off to a great start and we're really excited about the prospects for the future. Alan, the, the basics of quantum computers, if one can say such a thing, is that they use quantum mechanics to carry out calculations as opposed to with, with sort of higher efficiency than supercomputers. What is it about D-Wave that is proprietary? What is it that's unique about your technology? Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, we've taken a different approach to quantum computing from everybody else in the industry. And in fact, we're the only company in the world that pursues quantum computing in the way we do with the technology that we have developed. And we've developed that technology entirely ourselves. Everything from uh, the design to the manufacturing of the quantum computers to the software for programming the system, all the way up through the quantum cloud service, which is the vehicle by which our customers access our quantum computers. We've designed, we've developed, we deliver that ourselves, and we have extensive patent coverage for all of that technology. We have over 200 US granted patents and over 100 in process worldwide. That space for quantum computing is owned by D-Wave. Alan, a few weeks ago, we had a company called Phasecraft from the UK on the program talking about their work in quantum algorithms and quantum computing. And one of the observations made by their founder was that China is making progress in the field of quantum computing, but that it is a cooperative initiative globally for those in the field. Could, could you speak to how you view China's progress in quantum computing? Um, because as you, un, as you know, you know, China right now and its access to technology is a mainstay of the news cycle. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And in fact, this is a real concern. Um, China is investing over $15 billion in quantum computing. Uh, I was in Europe uh, last week, actually. I was in the UK, Switzerland, Germany. Uh, they're all investing heavily in quantum computing. The UK, over $4 billion in quantum. Unfortunately, the US is currently investing less than $4 billion in quantum computing. In some sense, we're the laggard in this space, and we absolutely must get our act together because this technology is going to fundamentally transform the way businesses operate and have a huge impact on um, the, the social and the economic environment. And the US must accelerate its investment in this area. 